day 72 of Living With Cancer. Um, this is recorded now, <clears throat> Saturday morning. I uh, went for my second round third dose of chemo on Thursday. <clears throat> that was a long day. It was a very long day. It was nine hours altogether. Got there at half eight in the morning, got out at half past five. A massive amount of chemo that day. One of the chemos was two hours. One was an hour. There was antibiotics to start with. Then the um, the flushes. Then the next bit. Then the flushes and so on and so forth. And to be fair, it all went really well up until the last two hours. I had. Um, the drip in this hand, in my right hand, normally it's in my left, but every one of the drips just really hurt this time, really painful. As soon as it went in, just I don't normally have a problem with it, but it was really painful this time. Um, at some point, I don't know how, and I pulled the, um, the cannula right slightly, so it wasn't going. Um, it was there and it wasn't going into the vein it was just sort of half in half out the vein I noticed a pain in the hand and I looked over and it had just all gone under the skin so it just raised up and raised up it's a magnesium something solution um, so they stopped that I had to wait for that to go down I had to check and a few other bits went to this hand I had a cannula here which just wouldn't find a vein which isn't very unusual to normally get a vein straight away then I had another one here which did work that finished off that eventually which is like a two hour infusion there um, tired it, tired like hell again, it's really really tired with it drained um, surprise surprise constipated again throat seems a bit croaky today but it's not as bad as last week but then again this is only one full day after treatment, so there's, you know, it's probably going to get croaky. Um, so my beard's still there, which is cool, beard's still intact. Um, a heartburn, a lot of heartburn with this chemo as well. Um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's a weird thing in general, chemo. I don't know if it's, well, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know if it feels like it's doing anything. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Um, I've got another chemo next week. Then I've got my um, got an appointment in Stoke. I have a discussion of my uh, bladder and everything else removal and my bag fitted. Um, that's over the course of the, the recovery time, so I'm not having chemo then. But again, I don't know if I'm going to suffer any side effects this time. As they say, it gets the more chemo you have, the more chance you've got side effects. Well, this is my third dose now. So, you know, there's a very strong possibility that there's going to be some type of um, side effect with it. But, you know, hopefully not. But who knows. Um, I've then got my next two, and hopefully that'll be the end of the chemo. Um, I'll then have a CT to see if it's got everything it's supposed to get. It's killed it off if it's found any more, you know, if there's any more there, I don't know. Hopefully not, I don't really want any more cancer, but there we go, it's not in my control this. Um, after that then I'll be Stoke, which four to six weeks after my chemo is finished, possibly. If it's longer then I go for a round four of chemo which is another two doses over the next 21 days, but hopefully that won't happen. But again, if it does, it does, you know, if that's what they say I've got to have done, that's what I've got to have done. I'm not really in a position to argue with medical professionals, there's been less people that know what they're doing. I'm not really in a position to argue with them. If that's what they say I should do, that's what they say I should do. Um, so yeah, it was a long, long, long day. Fell asleep a few times, obviously, which no surprise really. Um, Chris came with me again. 
It's a long day for her. You know, driving, driving up there, hanging around with me for nine hours, driving home. You know, it's a long day. It's not. It's not easy on her. It's not easy on me, but it's not easy on her. Um, loads of tablets again. I've got to take um, blood tests. I, they said that my my white level is was 5.7 I don't know what that means I don't know if that's good or what but they seem okay with it um, <clears throat> so I'll blood test again next week before I go for my next round of chemo which is a short day so hopefully it's only hour and a half two hours worth of chemo this time again like the last time so that's you know that's not a problem really it's in and out pretty quick compared to the nine hour day I had this week um, just the tired feeling with it I think it's for me it just really drains just drains you even doing you know sitting down and standing up to go you know to make a drink if you can make a drink or if you can go to the toilet or whatever it's it's hard going it really is just tires you out just drains the life out of you just standing up um I haven't lost my appetite still I've lost my sense of smell I've lost my sense of taste my hearing seems to be the same still there's nothing that I can notice, but above just tired, just drained, completely drained. Um, obviously, if I do get any side effects now, that'll be because my white cell counts down and you know immune system's low. So, really, just avoid people as much as I can. I don't really need visitors because I can't risk it. So there's no point doing that. Um, at the moment, there's no more really this happened, it's just been a straight, like obviously that, that cannula moving was a weird thing, I mean at least it wasn't, if it, they say if it's the chemo then it does that on, I mean that's basically quite dangerous, but luckily the chemo, I've had all my chemo by then and it was um, some magnesium solution, which they had to check just in case there was any risk of damage with that, but it seems that there was no damage and it's, the swelling's gone down, it's, it's a bit sore. To be fair, it's a bit tender, but I think everywhere this to this week where they put the needles in have been very sore. They said they do like to mix hands up, you know, swap left to right and whatever. But this right one, I'm again, I'm right-handed, so trying to do anything left-handed was just a joke, to be honest. But you know, it's it is another long day done, so there's no. You know, it's three down now, it's three down, three to go. So I'm halfway through the treatment, so, you know, it's happening quick. You know, it's like 72 days today that I was diagnosed. So really, you know, in 72 days I've had three lots of chemo, three more to go. I've had, you know, it's moved quick, really. It doesn't feel like it sometimes, but it has moved pretty damn quick to, to what it should be. A lot of people again on the uni yesterday at varying ages, various courses of treatment and stuff. Um, you know, it's it's not a nice place to go, but again, it's a necessity. It's not um, it's not a day out. That's for sure. It's not a day out. It's, it's a necessity. It has to be done. And until they say everything's all clear, then I'll keep on doing it. Um, again, really with this video, please share it, subscribe, like, pass it on. Pass it on so that somebody can look at this and go, okay, there was something wrong, I need to get it checked out. I don't want to go through what he's going through. And to be honest, I don't want anybody to go through what we're going through. You know, it's not just me, it's me and my family, friends, everybody you know. They're going through it with me in their own way. And I won't. You know, I don't want anybody to go through this and if this is the way to make people do something to get it checked out and sorted out and they don't have to go through this and I'm happy for people to see what goes on, how it works, how it happens, how, you know, how this treatment goes, what the good parts, what the bad parts, what the everything is with it, you know, and if this is how I can get somebody to get checked out then I'm happy to do what I'm doing. It's not a nice thing to do. 
it's not like bearing your soul to the world sometimes it's not but for me I feel that it's a better thing for me to do this than you know and hopefully get somebody to get checked and just say nothing to anybody and you know someone else has to go through this and you know, another family has to go through all the stuff we're going through you know so I'm happy to do these things videos um, you know this the, the views are getting less now to be fair to what they were but I'm just hoping they're going to pick up again soon I'm just hoping that people are going to still you know share it out people are going to you know watch it discuss it with their family, discuss it with their friends, discuss it with their partner, you know, discuss things and go, you know what, I thought something was a bit up, I better go and get it checked by the doctors, go and get it checked, you know, check it out ASAP, don't waste time, don't brush it under the carpet, don't pretend it won't happen again, if there's something wrong with you, don't pretend that, you know, oh well, if it's only the once, I wouldn't know, it might not be, it might be once, but it might not be once, <coughs> might be twice, might be three, might be four, might be, you know, and this is what happens when you ignore stuff. This is the, this is the cold hard facts of that. You ignore stuff like that. You then get pulled in and told you've got stage three aggressive bladder cancer, which then you have to have chemo. You have to have your bladder removed, lymph nodes, and various other parts of your body removed. Then you have to have a bag for the rest of your natural life. So you know it's not nice. It's not something anybody wants to hear. You know. But again, positives out of negatives. It's not stage four. It's not terminal. Stage three is treatable. Yeah, the uh, the surgery is going to be a major, major thing. It's going to be a big thing to live with as well. But at least I'm alive. I'm not dead. Bag or box, I'll have the bag, please. You know, there's no. It's not a nice thing to decide. But it's if, what else do I decide? Do I decide to have nothing and die young, or do I do all these things to? try and prolong my life I do these things to prolong my life at 52 I'm not ready to be dead at 52 you know I've got plenty of time left I've got plenty of mischief in the world left to create I've got plenty of people to make laugh I've got plenty of people to you know just have fun with 52 is no age to die you know so I do what I do to make me sure I've got a longer life more life with my partner Chris more life with my family more life with my friends, you know. These are the things that I want to do. These are the things I have to do to do the things I want to do. The biggest thing for me was ignoring the things that were wrong. That was my biggest issue. If I'd have not ignored them and got something done straight away, maybe, I would, well, there's no maybe about it, I wouldn't be in this position. It wouldn't be stage three for a start. You know, and with that stage three now, it's completely destroyed my bladder. It's just wrecked it now. Literally, I can go back to, oh, not me to whatever weed to literally get into the toilet. By the time I'm getting there, I mean, I am absolutely bursting. My bladder is just absolutely just at it. So even when the chemo's done, and hopefully the tumor in my bladder is gone, it's still that damage. It's not going to work properly again. And that's why they've got to remove it. So I then have to have a bag. We in a bag for the rest of my life, basically. It's not basically that's a fact, is it? We in a bag for the rest of my life, you know. But if that's what it is, that's what it is. So you know, this is a necessity. It has to be done to help me live. It has to be done for me to carry on and enjoy my life. And this is why you need to get checked if you think something's wrong. So you don't have to worry about things like this. You don't have to put yourself in this position ever. So um, you know, again, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll post the next update now, which will be next week after my next chemo treatment. And say so yeah, any any questions, put them in the comment section. If I can answer the questions, I will. You know, if there's anything you want to know. A message last week or a couple of weeks ago out what I know if um, you start losing your hair so this will be a lot shinier than it is now you know there's humour you can find humour and stuff you can't just you know if you sit and look at the cold art facts and you look at it and you're hurt it's going to you know it's not going to help you you've got to laugh about stuff 
have fun at the end of the day. It's unchangeable, so you know, if I can make somebody smile with a comment or they can say something to me and make me laugh, that'll do. So I'm really happy. Um, okay, so I'll just sign off now and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in a week.